Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord Modded and we are attempting to take Urzana Castle of course. So you can see here we've already basically created every single one of our trebuchets. I thought I might just get a bit of a head start on that and as you can also see we're having some problems with many of my vassals being taken prisoner. Oh isn't that hilarious? Zamina and... <laughs> uh, that is such a classic and a half isn't it? All right, okay, we're just going to go straight on in here. I was actually wanting to try to rescue her, but obviously, well, there you go. She managed to escape all by herself. Maybe our siege distracted the defenders or something like that. Highly unlikely because that's not... That, 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 that doesn't even get taken into account, I don't think. I don't think that's even applied to any kind of percentage chance or calculation in regards to, you know, prisoners escaping or anything like that, but it would be cool if it was, but I highly doubt it. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. I'm actually wondering, should I go in with my camel? I'm thinking to myself right now, probably not. Is there another way that I can go in? Yeah, I mean, there are obviously two walls that are, you know, that are destroyed, but um, yeah, it seems like this one is over there. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm probably not going to go in there. Who's this? Why are you so fast, sir? Look at that. It's a Mamluk Palace Guard. How is he so fast? Wow, that was really quick, actually, for him to get all the way over here. But I can just very easily get inside due to our wonderful camel. And we can now do some damage to the archers. There we go. I am going to get... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a little bit of damage here, obviously. But the, the main priority right now for me is literally just to be, uh, you know distracting the archers, try to make it so that I'm as disruptive as possible. I really do not want to get killed, so I will just run down here a little bit. Let's try and take out that Imperial Sergeant. There we go. Nice. Yes, this is what we want. There we go. That's kind of what we want to see. Something like that is very, very useful. Oh, can I get my camel actually on the battlements? Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> I... Can, can, can a normal horse actually get up on the battlements? Because I think that's hilarious. I never, I've never seen that before. I've, I've never tried it, actually. So that's probably the reason. But um, <laughs> I'm kind of wondering whether it's just camels that are able to do that. Probably not, right? No, I don't think so. I think horses should be able to as well. They probably use the same rigging and so on and so forth, right? They probably do. Anyway, let's just see if I can barrel into these fellows once again. Try to take them down. All I want to do is just disrupt. That's it. I just want to disrupt as much as possible. And uh, my forces are, for some reason, having a huge issue. I don't know why they're taking so long to even, you know, get inside. Uh, there we go. I, I obviously got taken down. But as you can see, they're taking a huge amount of time to even, you know, eliminate the beginning forces. And let me just tell you, there's no one in here that is going to be fearsome at all. There's very few people, 27 from the garrison actually, or uh, how many How many from the garrison? Yeah, very, very few from the garrison actually did anything, but they were the ones to get uh, basically a portion of the kills as well because they had some higher tier troops. I did manage to actually kill 24, which I suppose is okay. Not gonna be taking any prisoners. As we know, taking prisoners right now is just not worth it because we obviously have you know, a full, uh, full prisoner, you know, prisoner hold and everything. And I have a lot of money as it is anyway, so it's not really going to help me that much. I'm going to be placing a bunch in here. Oh, wow. Look at the loyalty gain, though. Look at the loyalty gain. We're gaining nine loyalty literally just from what? What? From nothing? I, I have no idea how that's even possible considering they, well, they already have some things that are being built here. But I'm just going to cancel all of that just because I want to make sure that we get as much loyalty as fast as possible. It must be Parade that is causing that issue, right? It must be Parade that is, is giving us that, that boost. Because I used that way back in the Kuzade Carnate series. And I absolutely love that. Um, wait, 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 was it in the Kuze Carnate series? Oh, I, I don't know. I can't remember. But it was a long time ago that I used that. And I thought to myself at the time, this is an amazing, amazing perk. And uh, yeah, couldn't really wait to use it again. And here it is. There we go. 
All right, so I'm actually wondering what we want to do now, because do we want to give this to Hasid or do we want to give this to Captain Falcon? And that's actually a very good point. I should be calling him Captain Falcon rather than Mr. Falcon, because I think he's earned that right. He seems to be basically destroying anyone that he can. Going to give this to Hasid because I'm kind of hoping that he's going to do a decent job. I, I don't know. I mean, you could see here that he has Akalat and he has Urzana Castle now, and that's pretty much all he has, which is a bit of a shame. But, well, there you go. That's what we're going to really go for. Okay, so now here's the problem. We have the Sturgeons. Wait a minute, didn't I make peace with the Sturgeons? Apparently I didn't. So I'm going to have to make peace with them. We're going to pay 8,000. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, we're going to pay 8,000. That's it. We're just going to pay 8,000 because I really do not want Makeb to get taken. And as you can see, they were the ones actually besieging it. I didn't know for certain whether they were the ones that were besieging Makeb, but I really just had to take the chance because, let's face it, we really do not want them encroaching on our conquering of the Southern Empire. And I'm kind of hoping that we'll be able to maybe take Samira Castle as well. Let's actually just go over there real fast. Did, did I not already take that or have they taken it back? I'm actually kind of wondering whether they took that back. Um, they have 152 here. I don't know. I have no clue. But we're just going to speed things up real fast and hopefully my trebuchets will be done relatively quickly. I'm literally thinking to myself right now that I'm just going to let my trebuchet just fire and uh, just get the others built in due time, and I'm not even going to put them in the reserves. I think it's probably a better idea to just leave it the way it is. Ah, one of my caravans was taken prisoner now. Mm, seems like most of my caravans have actually been completely eliminated now, which is very sad, but we can't really do much about that. We're going to lead the assault now and head on in, because we've already destroyed their walls, which is amazing. That's a super, super quick destruction of their entire defensive line and they only have 148 or something like that in here and uh, what, what, what is auto deploy what does that do that just deploys units oh, all right oh, okay okay uh, i've never used auto deploy ever before so i was like oh okay what's that you know okay yeah we're not actually going to be doing anything in regards to the uh, siege engines here because i just do not want my forces to be concentrating on actually using the trebuchets instead of using their own selves to go into the castle and actually deal some damage. So I'm just gonna... Oh, wait a minute. This is the same exact layout as the one before? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not actually a big fan of that, to be honest. I was kind of hoping that we wouldn't have this kind of situation, but... Oh, well. Never mind. I guess we're just going to have to make do then. And I will be eliminated very easily here, but that's not really a big deal. And there it is. We've won the battle. Very, very simple. Very, very quick. Exactly what I anticipated would happen, of course. Because, I mean, what, what else are you going to get from this situation, right? It's going to be a super easy victory. Anyway, we're going to take a lot of the high tier units. And then, uh, well, my preventive medicine is obviously going to, going to be coming in handy. We're back at 30% HP, which is wonderful. It's a super, super powerful ability. It really is. Yeah, this is actually something that we used to own, um, which is actually really funny because um, we obviously lost it. Someone obviously lost it for us, which is not very good of them at all. And Akalat is actually under siege. Oh, no. Captain Falcon has been taken prisoner by the Kuzate. Oh, apparently the Kuzate declared war on us just now. Oh, well, that's actually really bad. Okay, we're going to have to go very quickly over here. And we're going to... Oh, you have a lot of people. You have a lot of people. This is... This is pretty harsh, actually. All right, okay. Well, we're going to have to just level up a couple of our people then, by the looks of things. And this is going to be a little bit uncomfortable, actually. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, so what do we actually have available here? Do we have anything that we can actually convert to our side well we do but i'm not actually going to be doing that because we we want to try to focus on just remaining completely as a rye focused here otherwise samira castle gonna give this to captain falcon i actually do need to find bortu which is the fellow that actually took 
uh, Captain Falcon prisoner. I will have to try to free him as soon as possible. What's actually going on at Akalat? Do we have... Uh, oh, they have a pretty good garrison, actually, surprisingly enough. I'm quite... Um, well, pleasantly surprised, I guess, by that. And I'm thinking to myself, do I just want to stick around here and then do damage to them? I guess so, right? Uh, I, I really wish Captain Falcon hadn't gotten himself taken prisoner. It would have been absolutely wonderful if he would have not had that happen. Uh, the Southern Empire obviously wants to... Wait a minute. I could actually make peace with the Kuzate right now, and that would free Captain Falcon. I think I might actually try to do that. Okay, we're not going to make peace. No, sir. Thank you very much. We're not going to make peace with the Southern Empire, but we might make peace with the Kuzate. Yeah, we're going to have to pay 9,300 though. Uh, this is actually something I would not recommend doing unless you have a huge amount of cash. But bear in mind, this doesn't really matter. In the grand scheme of things, this does not really matter at all. Because the only thing that matters is getting Captain Falcon back out onto the field. Because he is the only vassal that we can really count on to do what he has to do. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to wait. We're just going to wait and see what happens. Got 250 defenders, 229. Going to wait until they have about 350 and then we're going to go in there. There we go, there's 350, waiting a little bit for daytime, and there we have it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to approach the siege camp, and we're just going to attack straight away, and we are going to attempt to eliminate them. And now, if we can take them all prisoner, this is obviously going to be a fantastic situation for us, because that means that we'll have much more free reign. Hilariously enough, I actually thought we already had a significant amount of, well, vassals imprisoned. And I thought to myself, oh yeah, that, that should be great. That should be fine. We don't need, you know, we don't need to worry about that. But apparently we do, because everyone seems to be just running around here in massive armies. And they're able to launch these kinds of sieges. Which is obviously making things very uncomfortable for us indeed. Okay, let me see what I can actually do here. I would like to eliminate one of these guys if at all possible. One of the mounted troops would be advisable. Getting myself killed as well, thanks to the archers, of course. Thankfully, my own cavalry have now started to come up here, which is exactly what we want. Hopefully, they're going to be harassing the enemy archers so that they can't fire as much. Seems like they are the ones that are going to be doing the most damage. And hopefully we are... Eh, I think, I mean, obviously, I feel like we're going to be fine. The combat strength is definitely in our favor, but primarily because obviously I waited for quite some time to allow the garrison and indeed the militia at Akalat to do their thing. You know, because obviously they have a significant defensive bonus. That's going to be the thing that will primarily mean that they have much higher chances of victory and... Well, it seems to be paying off quite nicely here. And I didn't... Yeah, that's a ten, Okay, so technically what I could have done is... Obviously, I could have broken in to the siege itself. And I could have done something as in... I could have, you know, stayed on the walls and I could have defended in the siege itself. Now, the only problem about doing that is that I have to spend... Or should we say I have to pay a levy. I have to pay a small price in the form of troops and i'm not actually a big fan of doing that because me paying any cost in the form of troops is really going to set us back dramatically if those troops just happen to be high tier uh, because obviously as you might expect considering the fact that our war mount situation is uh i, I wouldn't say that we're starving for war mounts but we are not in a situation where we can pick them up that easily. Um, I, I'd like to go back to Azurai territory and the southernmost town. That would actually provide us with a significant amount of war mounts if it remains how it, how it was before, you know. They're usually very, very good there. And as you can see, we basically lost no one at all because these guys literally just had nothing. And as we can see, look at this. 
I, I, I believe that they had nothing at least. I saw a very small amount of cataphracts, and otherwise, boom, we are absolutely fine. We're actually able to rescue some people as well, which is quite funny. Um, yeah, so, oh, look at that. We've got a bunch of rescued troops. That's very, um, that's very rare, isn't it? We don't usually get rescued troops, so that's nice. Okay, so we are actually in the town at the moment, or we're close to the town. So technically, I could take all of these prisoners, I suppose. Not sure if that's really going to make any difference, but I might as well. Um, I might as well try, but the problem with this is that I'm going to be moving so slowly that some of my prisoners are inevitably going to escape. So let me just get in here as fast as possible. Zamina is actually here, so let's get her into my party. And let's choose the people that need to be ransomed here. Let's just get these guys out of there. There we go. Uh, technically, you know what? Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking something real fast here. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be uh, recruiting all of these. And the reason why I'm going to be recruiting all of those is because I can then put those in the garrison or I can donate them into the garrison. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, that's probably going to be a pretty good idea. Even if it does cost me a little bit of morale and so on and so forth, that doesn't really matter. So we're just going to do this real fast. And then we're going to choose the prisoners to be ransomed. And we'll just do the, you know, the regular ones. Usually I don't do this kind of micromanaging stuff. But considering Akalat is being, uh, you know, it's being attacked quite often, isn't it? It really is. Way too much, in my opinion. But there you go. Anyway, donate troops to the garrison. So obviously, this is the point. If I don't want to use any of these, you know, I don't have to. Because I can basically just donate them into the garrison here. For example, the Imperial Cataphracts. I don't really want to use those, so I'm just going to donate them away from us. And that's going to be great, you know, because it's going to make the garrison much stronger and I don't have to use them because obviously I'm still attempting at least to be as, you know, adhering to the, uh, you know, the rules uh, that I set out my, you know, to adhere to myself, you know, because I want to make sure that we have Primarily Azerai, primarily camel based units. So as you can see, look at this. This is absolutely crazy the amount of troops that we can actually, um, you know, trade here and indeed donate into the garrison. So let's just do that. There we go. And there it is. Okay, I think that is actually all. I only have 201. I am going to probably need to do something about that. But the garrison is now looking very, very nice indeed, as you can see. They have a very big garrison. They just need to repair or, shall we say, recuperate their militia. And then that should be fine. And we have Rajaya's army as well, as you can see. Going to have to do something about that. I'm running around with a bunch of prisoners myself. And uh, Rajaya is over there. So we're going to have to fight her as well. I'm at 70% uh, HP. Okay. I guess I'm... I don't really want to fight at night. How is how's Samira Castle actually doing? Oh, I really wish the tooltip would come up. Okay, it's only got 63. Yeah, that's probably not going to be enough, is it? Nope. All right, we're just going to go straight on in. Assault the siege camp. Ooh, this is, oh, this is looking a little bit dicey. Uh, the, the combat strength is looking very, very even. And we, I think we have a slight edge. We have a slight edge on Regea here. So we might be okay. And I don't really want to execute her. That's the thing. I really do not want to execute her. So I'm actually thinking that maybe what I'd like to do is if possible, I wouldn't mind letting most of these go. But the problem with letting them go, of course, is that they're just going to continue defending and attacking, defending and attacking and so on. And that's going to be very frustrating in the end. So that's one of the reasons why taking the prisoner is, of course, one of the only things that we can do to sort of halt their advance, halt their progression in any way. Which is a little bit sad, to be honest. I would actually like there to be alternate ways to do that. But there aren't. You know, <laughs> they seem to recover very, very quickly. That's all I'm saying. And uh, obviously, you know, if you think about it, you know, from a... You know, from, from when they actually first announced that Bannerlord was going to have a system similar to that of the player. For example, the AI was going to adhere to the same rules that the player had, which I thought was amazing at the time. Um, but obviously, that has I think that has changed a little bit. 
because um, obviously, as, as was documented very, very easily in the Kuzate series that I made a whole bunch of time ago, um, the AI had a bit of an issue. <laughs> and I say a bit of an issue, but it was actually a pretty major one where, obviously, here's the thing. Obviously, you might expect, okay, the AI, if it is going to recruit at the same speed and pace as the player, it's inevitably going to be worse than how the player does things because it's it's AI. It's obviously not going to be as, you know, um, <laughs> as, uh, shall we say, cunning or uh, smart as a player might be. And so what they would do is they would go to the villagers and they would and they would recruit and get volunteers and get only tier one troops. Yeah, tier one. And that's it. And that's all they would do. And so basically what would, what would happen is in my Kuzade series, I was actually attempting to take one of my first ever castles um, to create my own faction in that. And you know what happens? Well, I defeated a, a, a pretty big army, first of all. And then they started charging at me with 20 recruits over and over again. And that's it. That's literally all they would do most of the time until they actually had, um, you know, some people uh, come along with a much larger force because obviously only some of them would actually come back over and over again. But that's the, that's the whole point. That's why um, Tail Worlds actually changed it so that the, um, you know, the various AI vassals, they wouldn't be only adhering to the same rules that the player has and instead they would go to garrisons and they would pull troops out of the garrison and create their own armies that way and uh, I think that's still I think that's still better than how it was in in warband obviously because in warband they were very magical about it um, where they would you know just pull troops out of out of nowhere basically you know you know how it used to be if you played warband you know that's just that's just how it was because you know there was no like intricate recruitment system for the AI. However, if if you give the AI the ability to get troops from the garrison, and the and the garrison is relatively magical as it is in regards to its ability to gain troops. I don't know whether you've noticed that, but whenever, for example, let's say that because I've given Akalat to one of my uh, one of my vassals, you know what's going to happen there, right? Well. Magically, I, I wouldn't say magically, but, you know, it happens very easily that they are able to just get a lot of troops in there and even high, high level ones. And it's kind of astounding. And I don't know how that even I don't know how that even works, but that's that's how it works. That's that's how you know, that's what happens. You know, you can see it happening before your very eyes. So technically, it is kind of the same as Warband now because of that, that very small change. Because initially, as I said, I actually thought it was super, super cool for them to do something in regards to making the AI behave in the same way that the player behaves. So, so they had the same limits, they had the, the same uh, restrictions on what they uh, had available to them. And I thought that was amazing. I thought that was so incredibly cool, but unfortunately that didn't stay the way that it was. And while they still do have, uh, you know, similar sort of behaviors where they are actually able to go to, you know, towns and, and villages and so on and so forth. And they are able to do these kinds of things where they can actually recruit from those places. Uh, it's still not as human-like as I would potentially like it to be, but obviously that's that's not really anything to do with me, is it? No. Anyway, I am actually going to try and launch a strike against Cyronea. I think that's probably going to be the best thing that I can possibly do right now. And I'm wondering whether I should create an army. Oh, where, where, is, where is Captain Falcon? Where is Captain Falcon? I don't know where he is. He can't be, he can't be a prisoner still, right? I don't think he's a prisoner still. I don't, I don't think so, at least. I, I don't think so. I don't know. Um, anyway, we're just going to be 
um, just going going all out against these guys. I'm not going to take any prisoners as we see here. I'm just going to try to capture as many people as possible in some auto resolves because these fellows literally just do not have anything that can actually fight against us right here. So it should be nice and easy for us. And I should probably go over to the marketplace as well and actually deal with that. But I really want to take Sirenea if at all possible. Or Onira. Onira could be good, but this, this has 600. I'm not sure how that's going to be. Let's actually see what happens. They have 600 as well. Yeah. Right. So yeah, this is where things are going to get a little bit dicey. So we got Way of the Spear now, which obviously increases our attack speed and damage with pole arms, which is very nice. You know, I'm, I'm pleased about this. This is good. Now, what else do I want to get? I have focus points and I guess I'll just spec another point into one handed and that will be the last focus point that I have there. Um, any other focus points that I have, I'm actually not entirely sure what to do with them, to be honest. It's um, it's going to be a little bit a uh, little bit troublesome. And I think I would like to fight Honoratus. Let's try to take him down. Thank you very much. There we go. Take him prisoner as well. And we'll take the loot as well, even though I am literally over encumbered right now by quite a quite a significant number. So I should be a little bit careful here. And I should probably just get rid of a whole bunch of those just because I don't need them right now. The Kuzate are actually taking Urzener Castle, which is obviously a bit uh, not 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 so pleased. <laughs> not so pleased about that, but what can I do about it? There is nothing I can do about it. Okay, so they have 668 here. Okay, so let's have a look. Garios of the Western Empire. Wait a minute, what just happened here? <gasps> look at that. Mr. I mean, uh, Captain Falcon has actually had a child. I'm so surprised. He has a wife? I had no idea. All right. Well, that's cool. That's really nice. Okay, so I can't actually perform this action right now. Okay, yeah, well, I'm going to have to leave the siege then real fast and make peace. Boom, there you go. I am using quite a lot of my my uh, influence right now, but we still have a pretty significant amount, so we should be fine. But I'm just trying to keep people off our backs right now. That's literally the only thing I am attempting to do here. All right, so let's see what happens. Maybe they're going to attack me with a significant army, but I do have a lot of them uh, taken prisoner right now. They only have five days worth of food in the town here. Oh, they actually managed to destroy my first trebuchet, so I'm not a big fan of that. So that means I will have to put them in the reserves, unfortunately. Seems like they have much better defenses than at Samira Castle, as you might expect, of course. But, you know, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't. Anyway, let's just place them all out here. They have one day left. I am, I'm just hoping that I have enough to sustain myself. Or uh, shall we say my army has enough to sustain itself. Okay, there's one of my trebuchets going down. That's not particularly good. There we go. Their garrison has completely been destroyed. And now we are going to be leading our assault. This is going to be a bit of a dicey one. Because they have over 400 troops in the garrison here. This might very well go super, super badly. I'm just hopeful that it will go well and we're not going to have too many issues. Okay, so let's have a look. See here. Um, yeah, our warrior is obviously going to lead someone here. I'm going to lead there and then we should be fine. Okay, let's do it. Um, yeah, I'm full HP as well. I'm going to try to use my one handed a little bit uh, here too. I'm not going to run in like an absolute idiot this time. And instead, we're just going to use our... Uh, shall we say cunning and, and wily skills to try to survive for once. He says as he probably in the near future gets shot in the face by a javelin or something like that. What do you bet? It's probably going to happen. Okay, well these guys are not really going to do that, but get, get, it, get out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, we shouldn't have too many issues, or at least I hope not. If I can just get beyond these fellows, then I should be fine. Or will I? That's the question. Yes. Yes. Superior athletics. Ah, it's actually working for me. Okay, there we go. Eliminate that guy. Okay, so do we have any archers up here? Are there any archers actually firing down on us right now? Doesn't seem like it, actually. Uh, I probably should have stayed down there, to be honest, shouldn't I? 
Nope. There's no one here. Oh, I really wish I had no fall damage. I would love to be able to jump down right now. Do I have do I have strong legs, by the way? I don't think I do yet, do I? No, I don't think so. So if I jump down now, I'm probably going to end up dying. Very unceremoniously. Okay, yes. I'm having some issues just eliminating this one fellow because he is just so defensive. Look at him. Look at him. Yes, it's wonderful. Uh, it's so, so realistic. I like that. Yes. If you couldn't tell, I'm being funny. Okay, so yeah, otherwise... Ah, here we go. This is what this is what we like to see. We like to see the archers. We like to eliminate the archers as best we can. Trying to eliminate them super, super sneakily with the scimitar that I have here. Because we can basically, you know, basically attack. So that if you start your swing from the front and then turn around, it actually is very, very nice. It does a lot of damage like that. And the AI is not that fast in reacting to it, which is nice. So... That's definitely helping me out quite a bit, especially considering they're actually mostly running right now. So I, I can take this as a good opportunity to sort of level up my um, level up my one-handed skill and my athletic skill. Yeah, I do not have strong legs because my athletics is only 216. So yeah, I definitely do need to get that leveled up quite a bit. Okay, nice. Look at that. Lovely amount of kills right there. Unfortunately, I'm not fast enough to be able to keep up with these fellows because they have much lighter armor than I do, of course. And that's going to be the end of it. There you go. They did manage to escape to the keep, which is, well, sad. But there you go. We were able to eliminate them. I'm just going to send my forces in there. And there we have it. Okay, so we can take her prisoner if we want to. We took Onira, if you can believe that. That is a pretty significant victory for us. This is going to mean that we will have many more, many more people attempting to attack us as well. They will definitely try to take this back really, really quickly. I kind of want to, I kind of want to give this to Captain Falcon as well because I don't really want to gar garrison it myself. That's the thing that we have to think about here, some of the time at least. So uh, let me just see. What about here? No. We can sell this stuff. Oh, nice horse arm. Oh, I don't have a horse. <laughs> I don't have a horse, so I'm not going to be able to use the horse armor. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Well, <laughs> I guess that's not really that big a deal. And anyway, we've got a lot of green, so I'm going to sell that. There we go. And there's actually, wow, there's quite a significant amount of cash in here. So I'm just going to sell some of my... Thrown, uh, thrown weapons, sell some of my ranged weapons there. We're just going to smack a huge amount of money in the treasury here as well. I'm going to give 50,000 and we're just going to cancel all of these constructions. There we go. Um, the loyalty is actually not even bad, as you can quite clearly tell. So I think the only thing we need to do, I mean, I've already sold a huge amount of food here. Um, which is great, because that's actually what they needed. So hopefully that's going to be taken into account in just a moment. Are they actually going to do that? I'm kind of hoping that they are going to take that into account. They don't seem to be. Ah, there we go. There we go. The food is now increasing. Okay, so that's wonderful. Um, yeah, and now we can actually give this to someone. Okay, so uh, ransom offer for Regea. I'm just going to close that. Owner of Onira. As I said, I'm probably going to give that to Captain Falcon. He's just... I, I don't know. I, I just would prefer for someone that knows what they're doing to take care of this rather than me um, because, well, I can always donate troops to the garrison here if I need to. But as it, as it stands right now, I'm not really wanting to do that. Okay, so there's a huge amount of peace offers, as you can see right there. I do not want to decline those because there's going to be a notification that crops up. And I don't want to deal with that. I really don't. We're just going to convert some of these guys just to try and shore up our army a little bit as well. And now, as you can see, look at the Southern Empire. They literally only have Vostrum and Cyronea as well as this castle here. And I'm pretty sure this castle is going to get taken quite soon. The uh, the Kuzate are being quite surprising in their aggression against the Southern Empire. But, well, it is to be expected, of course, because the Southern Empire are literally almost as, well, almost as pathetic as we are right now. I mean, really. Anyway, my war strategy is on offensive at the moment. I should probably put it on defense. I was kind of hoping that Mr. Falcon would actually help us out. 
but he's not. <laughs> he's not. We've been at war against the Southern Empire for 90 days almost, which is significant. <laughs> but we're going to be uh, eliminating them in the next episode. And we're probably then going to be declaring war against the Kuzate. And then maybe we'll go... Hmm, not entirely sure who to fight after that, to be honest. It, it looks to me like the Azurai are looking very strong right now. They have taken Danustica. They took an, uh, they've taken Fike on. I, I don't know why I said Tuken, but apparently I was thinking about uh, the, uh, the colorful bird, the, the Tuken, potentially. Who knows? Anyway, let's uh, ignore that. Thank you. Yes, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.